right, so today what we are going to do is we're, we are going to see the difference between the brand new DeWalt Flex Fold Advantage against the semi-new Hilti Brushless Hammer Drills. These ones are the heavy duty hammer drills, all right? So Hilti is my, so far in my arsenal is number one. The DeWalt Power Detect that I've tested is actually more powerful than the Hilti and the Flex the Power Detect is the most powerful hammer drill that I have actually tested. I have not done the DeWalt Flex Fold Advantage with an actual 21700 cell battery. We are going to do that. We're, we are going to use the 4 amp hour for the DeWalt and the 4 amp hour for the Hilti. And they both have 21700 cells in them. And I am doing stuff differently this time. I'm going to do the test first. And then the specs are going to be after the test. So stay tuned for that if you guys don't want to know what the torque is, the speeds, and the model numbers. My friend Greg gave me this a while ago. It is the Craftsman Digital Multimeter. And I actually, I want to test out these, uh, I want to see what these batteries read out. I'm going to start doing this in every video from now on. It's just one more thing to add. So let's, uh, let's see what this does. 20.4 volts. 20.4 volts. That's the DeWalt 4 amp hour. This is model number DCB240. 21700 cells. And then let's read what the Hilti has to say. 24.5 Hilti is reading at 24.5 volts with with no load and so once you put a load on it it'll read something completely different next let's uh, quickly very quickly discuss their handles Hilti and Milwaukee in my opinion have the best handles uh, they're like this is I guess this is metal but it doesn't feel it just doesn't feel or uh, way like metal this is metal. You can tell that this is metal, so, but this, this one's a little hard to distinct, distinguish. And Hilti is the easiest one to install. It is nice to have it adjustable, though, in case you need a different angle when it comes to the DeWalt. There we go. All right, so as you can see, two four inches and two six inches, so they are the same size. Right here is good. It's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Time. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Wow. Ooh, oops, my bad. My bad. It's on speed two. I'm supposed to put it to speed one. That's my bad. I was about to say, that's pretty fast. See, like I said, speed two for this type of torque is, is bad. You can't use speed two for this. Yeah, yeah, you have to use speed one. All right, it is on speed one. All right, so ready, go. Time. Both of those did that like nothing. All right, ready, go. It's out. Oh, sorry. Time. All right, so let's take Hilti's out. All right, ready? Go. Wow. That is crazy. All right, so next it is the six inch. We'll do it right here. Then Hilti next to it. All right, speed one. Ready? Go. Time. Did it no problem whatsoever. All right, it is Hilti's turn. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. There we go. Up. Oh, try. I got it. It finished it, I guess just gotta put it back. There we go, time. Yep, time. Very good. All right, so, ready, go. Time, I'll stop the timer at the proper time. That's, in, that's crazy, that's seriously, seriously powerful. All right, let's have Hilti take its out. And as you can see, I'm able to control it. You know, I'm not, it's not like 
jerking out of my hand, so it's still manageable to do. All right, so ready? Go. One hand. Time. God, these are powerful. All right, and just because we are going to do... We're going to do some 8-inch specs. So, sorry, 8-inch timber locks. We're going to do one each. Just have that on there. All right, so we'll do it right here. This is going to be crazy. Well, you, will you speed th the fastest speeds on this one? All right, ready? Go. Wow. Like nothing. All right, so speed two on the Hilti. Hopefully I can take that out. All right, ready? Go. Time. That is more like it. All right, let's take it out. Hopefully I can. Yes, I can. Ready? Go. That is insanely crazy. All right, Hilti's turn. All right, ready? Go. Time. Those are insane. All right, so first we are going to do the Dewalt. Uh, we'll check this one more time at the end of the video. At the end of the test, battery is full. And for the Hilti, the battery is full as well. All right, so with the with this pressure treated four by six, we are gonna do a one and a half inch spade bit. And then we are gonna do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. Uh, now I am gonna do a little test. I'm gonna see if this is capable of doing this on speed. This does not count. I just wanted to see what the limits are with this because the DeWalt Power Detect can do this on speed three. So I'm gonna do one test just to see if it can do it on speed three. And if it can't, uh, I'll use speed two from here on out. All right, so this is uh, only test for the DeWalt. That's it. All right, so since that worked, uh, we're going to use speed three. And that was a successful test, so we're actually going to count that. Good. I was hoping it can. It successfully did that on speed three. All right, let's do the Hilti next. It's on drill, speed two. All right, so right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Time. I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video, but I do not know that that, that might be a close one. <laughs> These both are powerful. Those are very powerful. Alrighty, so let's next go to the uh, one and a quarter inch speed bore. We're going to continue on speed three. I'm hoping it can, but I am going to give the DeWalt... Uh, the option to go to speed two if it can't on speed three. I am not going to declare that it failed. I'll be surprised if it could do it on speed three. I'm so I am surprised actually. We'll do this right here. That should be good. All right, so ready? Ready? Go. Nope. Uh, this is too high to high of a demand, so we're going to do that on speed two. All right, so let's do that on speed two. All right, so ready, go. Time. Success. Very good. That, that, is, a, that is a very hard task to do on a high speed without stopping. That is a very hard task, but it was able to do it. It was able to do it. All right, so we'll do hill tees right here. All right, so ready, go. <laughs> Time. 
time. Not too shabby. All right, let's take it out. Wow. That's awesome. These drills are powerful. We're going to cut it two and five eighths. I love it how easy it is to lock those in place. Then done. No hard task. It's simple. Right here, we have enough space for two. We're gonna do it. I think the DeWalt can do this on speed three, so we're going to use speed three. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Wow, that is crazy powerful. Crazy powerful. There's the core for that. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell that the DeWalt actually got that one. I do not know for sure, but I feel like the DeWalt got that one because that speed three, having that option, and when it works, it's it's powerful. So yeah, I have a feeling DeWalt got that test. I forgot about one test over here. We'll do that right now. With this is a half, uh, three quarter inch drill bit we're going to see if both of these could drill three holes without stopping if one of them if either of them stop for any hole it they failed the test i believe uh i believe dewalt can do this on speed three if not i'm going to redo the test for dewalt and put it on speed two got a hole right there so right here is good all right so ready Go. One, two, that's crazy powerful. That is a hard task to do without stopping, but it did it. Let's see if uh, Hilti can do the same. It is on drill. All right, so ready? Go. One, two, three, did it. Now I, I did time those and they both succeeded. So that depends on who did it actually fastest. Like I said, the Milwaukee fuel hammer drill uh, cannot stand up to these two. These two are insanely powerful. Right, so this is a half inch Milwaukee metal uh, drill bit. And as you can see, it already did a lot of work, so no tool has the advantage of having a new bit. Yep. This drill bit is actually fantastic. All right, so we're gonna do one hole each. Do it right here for the DeWalt. We'll use speed three, it's on drill. All right, so ready? No need for oil. Ready, go. Time. Like I said, th this drill bit is absolutely fantastic. People are gonna are gonna give me crap for not using oil, but it's okay. This drill bit already did a lot that with oil, so the, the drill bit isn't gonna last too much longer. All right, so ready? Go. Time. This is the shop vac I use. I, I love how light it is. Pick up the metal shavings. It is very important to pick up metal shavings. All right, so th this is the flexible advantage. This is model number DCD999, half inch fully metal chuck, uh, 11 point clutch plus two, which the plus two is hammer and drill. Anything outside of that is just screw three speed settings 
Uh, first, this gives this the specs that on here actually give everything in every speed. All right, so the beats per minute for the hammer feature on speed one, it is zero to 8,500. Speed two, zero to 25,500. Uh, and on speed three, zero to 38,250. Now for the RPMs in drill, in drill mode, it is zero to 450 RPM. Speed two, zero to 1300 RPM. And on speed three, zero to 2000 RPM. And the RPMs in hammer drill mode is zero to 500 RPM, zero to 1500 RPM, and zero to 225 RPM. So that's actually interesting. The hammer feature, if you have the hammer feature on, it actually has a faster RPM. And so, like I said, three speed settings. It does have a light on the bottom to where it'll run for 20 minutes. That thing is bright. You could also have it a half dim and it'll just go off after a few seconds. But that is a nice feature to have on your tool to have a 20 minute work light. So that is the DeWalt FlexVolt Advantage. Okay, so for the Hilti, this is model number SF6HA22. Uh, brushless hammer drill. This has two speed settings. This has a 15 point clutch plus two, which the plus two is drill and a hammer drill and anything outside of that is uh, just screw. This does have a special cooling system for, it's not really a cooling system, but it's just a design to where it will keep the battery cooler. The heat vents right here, and so you're able to keep your battery cool and it's not con uh, totally concealed. It has two LED beams on the base. Oh, that, turn this into drill. This is a bad mamma jamma. This goes to two speed settings, zero to 490 RPM on speed one and zero, zero to 2000 RPMs on speed two. It does not give any more specs than that. And yes, Hilti and Company, uh, uh, Plano, Texas. So the uh, final battery life, full bars, still for the DeWalt and full bars still for the Hilti. Now, both of them are still full battery. Both of them are still pretty cold. 49 degrees, 59, 51 degrees. They're both still very cold. All right, so they both did exceptionally well. They're both powerful, so they're able to do the hard tasks easier. That is the good part about having a good tool. Now, when it comes to a uh, concrete test, I didn't, I don't want to do concrete tests until I have a proper dust management system. I want to get the small Hilti shop vac with the dust management attachment to where it'll suck up where it'll suck to a surface and it'll uh, suck up all the dust that you use from the from the drill head. Dust piles up. I can't see if the truck hits the concrete because there's too much, there's a mountain of dust in the way. So before I do legitimate, uh, before I continue doing legitimate uh, concrete tests, I want that Hilti dust management system, which I know other companies make, but I want the Hilti one. So that's what I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna get that soon. But both these are awesome drills. Uh, do I know what, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video, so we I, I do not know who won, but they're both extremely powerful drills, and I have a feeling, if I had a guess, which I'm probably wrong, uh, I have a feeling that Hilti won by a little bit. If the, if the Hilti lost, that means that this is just as powerful as the Power Detect, but if the Hilti won, that means the Power Detect is still number one, and then the Power Detect would beat this. But like uh, this time I used a 21700 cell battery in the DeWalt. And so from the last video I did of this DeWalt, it didn't perform this well. So the, the battery will majorly help perform your tool. So I just wanted to do this video just to show you guys the difference between the two if, in case you guys are curious. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.